Okay, we might be running into our first uh, automobile related problem with the trip. And it's not what I originally thought it would be with something like the, uh, the engine or tires or something like that. But it's actually uh, might be running out of gas before we hit a gas station. So my Xterra used to get 300 miles to the tank, basically. Uh, it used to, at least. And recently, in the past, like, I don't know, several months, it's kind of been, I don't know, I guess like 270 maybe. Or maybe even less, you know, for, for highway miles, that's what we're talking about here. So this whole trip, I've been kind of keeping track of it, seeing how it's doing. Sometimes it's bad, sometimes it's not, and obviously that's depending on whether I'm doing more highway or more kind of like city or mountain driving, it all kind of affects it. But yesterday I had a good run where it was mostly flat ground and I was not stopping a lot. So that gave me about 170 at the halfway mark. And I'm sure it used to be over 300 at some point. And uh, so by the time I got to Carlsbad Caverns yesterday, it was like, um, yeah, I was like, oh, I'm doing pretty good on this whole gas thing. So as I'm making my way to El Paso now, there aren't too many gas stations I've seen on the way, and I, I don't know, I thought, I thought I'd make it, but I'm really not sure about it now. Because we're, uh, we're inching to the empty thing, and I'm at 258 miles for this tank. So when my gas light comes on, that means I have two, officially it's two gallons of gas left, although when I fill up, it's usually like two and a half. So by that point, I'll know how many miles I have left, roughly. It should be 30 to 40, depending how I'm driving, in theory. Oh, gas thing just went on, so I don't know. I don't know if I can make it. We're going to see. Fuck. <laughs> Also, I really gotta clean the window off too, so. Gas and window cleaning. We might make it though, we might. Okay, so this whole gas issue has me thinking about another roadside topic. A gasoline from gas town. Uh, driving slowly. Usually, I drive like a grandma for two reasons. One of them is this thing right here, this moonroof. If I go too fast, or the wind's hitting it at a certain angle, It'll pop open. I guess usually it's the wind, but I kind of associate it with going faster as well. And that does seem to aggravate it if it's acting up. But also, uh, you have better fuel efficiency most of the time if you're driving slower. I don't know exactly by how much, but usually I think like 59, 60 area is kind of the optimal, at least for the way I do it, just look at the RPM count. Yeah, so, yeah, I drive like a grandma most of the way. I'm sure in some of the other clips you've seen the same car in a number of spots in front of me. So I'm driving just as slow as they are. And if I had a job or something, I'd probably be driving faster because I have to get somewhere, but no, just slow and easy. It's the way I kind of like it. And this way you have two hands free and you don't really have to worry about controlling the vehicle as much. It also is another perk to it. Like, I'm going around a curve right now, and I'm just using my, my knees. And it's fine. But if I was going, like, 70, I wouldn't be comfortable doing that, probably. You can still do it, but, you know, it's... It makes that much of a difference, that, that 10 miles there. Okay, so we have civilization up here, so the gas thing might be solved. Uh, it said 24 miles for El Paso, I don't know if that's the city limits or what, but there should be a gas station up here and I'll go to the first one. Because I'd rather not play Russian roulette with this. Oh my, what do we have here? It's another evergreen Xterra. Okay, so I filled up at a Valero and I had two and a half gallons left, like I said. Although I think I used a little more than that. Um, so, 
my end mileage to that point was 271 and let's just like rough guesstimated 15 miles per gallon I'm getting so that should be like what uh, at least 40 like 42 I had 42 miles left so I could have made it all the way to, to 300 but I think before I used to have I don't know, I could comfortably get to 300, and then after that it was like, you know, playing the guessing game. Is it going to be 320? Is it going to be 340? Who knows? But that's always a fun thing to do when you're on a road trip, right? It's just kind of guesstimating your gas situation. Oh, oh well, that's all fixed up.